do a deep dive into the vote share and seat share numbers according to this Lokniti CSDS opinion poll. Uh, if you look at how the vote shares are moving and if you combine all these parties between 2015 and now, and I'll take the vote share data first, uh, the NDA vote share is at 38%, which includes Jitin Ram Maji's Hindustan Awam Morcha, uh, Mukesh Sahani's Vikashil, Vikashil Insan Party, the VIP. There's a 6% gap according to this poll. But what is very significant is the fact that the GDSF, the Grand Democratic Secular Front, which has front, which has uh, the Rashtriya Lok Samta Party, the RLSP of Upendra Kushwaha, it has Mayawati's BSP, it has Asuddin Ovesi's AIMIM, is taking away 7% of the vote. These small parties, which are now a separate opposition front, were somehow part of the opposition. 32 plus 7 is 39, which would have been more than the 38% that the NDA is getting. So that 7% split vote in the opposite, because the opposition is not united. You've got 6% vote going to the Lok Jan Shakti party. You've got 7% vote going to this disparate alliance of the AIMIM, the BSP and the RLSP primarily. Uh, you've got a situation emerging where the NDA has a 6% gap. It's a comfortable gap at this moment helped by the fact that the opposition is split. Let's now show uh, you voting intention and look at the seat share numbers. Remember the magic mark in the 243 seat assembly of Bihar is 122. Out of this, uh, the Gadbandan is projected to get 88 to 98 seats. This poll suggests and the ground reports that we're getting from our reporters in the field suggest that the strike rate of the Bharatiya Janta Party is expected to be higher and better than the strike rate of the Janta Dal United. Especially on seats where you've got the Lok Jan Shakti Party putting up uh, strong upper caste candidates, they seem to be damaging the prospects of uh, the JDU candidates. So you could end up with a situation where the BJP emerges as the single largest party, the JDU coming in at number two. That's the, that's the projection according to this poll. And even though the GDSF is not bagging too many seats, taking away 7% of what is clearly an anti-incumbency, anti-government vote is definitely helping the prospects of the NDA in this election. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.